I'm Deborah Myberg, and I'm with Aymar de Bayance from Bechevel, uh, Bordeaux, France. Um, first of all, Bechevel, where does that name come from? Okay, Bechevel in old book and French literally means to lower the sail. Ah. And that's because a long time ago, you were not born, I mean, that was 500 years ago, the proprietor of Bechevel at that time was a very famous gentleman called the Duke of Epernon, and he was an intimate friend of our king, Henry III at that time, and he was the uh, commander-in-chief of the French Royal Navy, so he was an admiral, admiral. Ah. And as you probably know, the, uh, the castle of Bechevel is mm -hmm. located very near the, the river, okay. the Gironde yes. River, and by law, all the uh, vessels coming from the ocean and sailing to Bordeaux or vice versa, mm -hmm. they had to lower the sail to salute the old powerful gentleman oh, really? and hence the name and the label, yes, which hasn't been changed since. Which has the label, uh, many people say Bechevel is so successful in China because of the, yes. the dragon boat. Oh yeah, I, I, actually at the pro of the, of the vessel, it's not a dragon, no. it's a griffin. A griffin, you know, it's a flying dragon, that's our mythological <laughs> European dragon. <laughs> but uh, there, a lot of us think that it, the market reacts very favorably to that image, Chinese yes, market. Yes, Do you think it has had any help? Uh, oh yes, that um, people absolutely. recognize it here. Yes, you know the the Bechevel label is very easy to remember, mm. and for the Chinese people, as most of them, they don't even read the Latin characters. Yeah. It's easy to remember, and the story of Bechevel with the best world, etc. Yes. It's a very nice. Uh, it's easy to remember, yes. so that's why Bechevel became, and probably because the wine is not bad at all. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course, that's okay. understood. Um, question, uh, question for you about your winemaking techniques. You seem to be going, heading down more and more toward organic techniques. Yes, it's definitely. Uh, I mean, in 20 years. Most of Bordeaux estates are going to be organic. We are almost organic already. Mm -hmm. We have not the, the official stamp, but we are almost o organic already, mm -hmm. yes. It's a necessity. I mean, it's, uh, it, it's our duty to be organic for the next generations, yeah. Now tell me how Bechevel style uh, winemaking might differ from your neighbors. Okay, Bechevel, we are, what we are really aiming at is really the balance, mm -hmm. uh, finesse, elegance. Mm -hmm. It's, it's, it doesn't mean that our wine is, is, is uh, watery or something, no. We have structure, but we, we, we are really, we are making wine to complement food. Mm. And uh, the pairing is for us the most important, yes. And what about labor, uh, harvest labor? Is it increasingly difficult or does everyone beg to No, it's to not increasingly difficult. Property? No, we can, we, can, we can have some, some labor, particularly now from, from from Eastern Europe, uh -huh. uh, but that's no problem to really uh, uh, have some some good. Uh, so it sounds like force. everything's pretty easy for now. Just it's no problem. You know, the, the best way to 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 keep the our labor force from year to year uh -huh. is to give them it is to give them good food. Oh. Uh, at least three times a day. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully a wee drop of wine at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Not the shell, not the gong. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thank for you your very much, Deborah. Okay. All right. <laughs>